Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, I'm not a financial planner. This isn't financial advice. These are just transactions and research I do in my accounts, and you can just learn by watching. Okay, guys, in today's video, what I wanted to do is take you through my top four um, stocks that I'm actually um, selling puts on in my accounts and collecting money. And I'm kind of just wanted to kind of talk you through my 2024 strategy, kind of for the remaining of the year, what I'm going to be doing on. And I'm going to take you through kind of uh, what I'm selling right now, puts on, and how much premium you can collect on that. So I'm just going to walk you through these, you know, for today and show you kind of what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, my strategy basically is to take these um, dollars that I'm uh, generating in income and I'm moving those into high yield uh, dividend funds. So I do have a channel, um, The Money Lodge, that I talk about um, high yield dividend investing in. Uh, maybe you want to check that out. Um, but, you know, this, this video is focused on selling puts to collect um, option income. And then I take that income and I can generate a portion of it um, and filter it into the high yield funds um, that I can just kind of, you know, keep out there and it generates a monthly income also. NVIDIA right now, if you look, let's just look at a one year chart. So you can see NVIDIA had gone up and, uh, you know, it was at about 136 here back in June. And then you can see, you know, it fell here back to, let's just go to about 103. And right now it's sitting at about 116. So I was kind of taking a look at it and seeing, you know, what strike would I want to hit this at. So let's go into trade NVDA options. And it is Sunday. So, you know, this, of course, isn't uh, completely up to date. This was kind of as of Friday. So I'll just kind of use this as a reference. So and show you what expirations I'm picking. So if I hit expiration date, I'm going to go out here 26 days. And the ones I'm selling right now are October 18th. And if I click sell at the top, sell, and then put, I hit these tabs. Now I'm using Robinhood uh, for demonstration purposes because I like graphically how it shows in displays. But um, I'm just telling you, my um, the, the puts that I'm selling are actually in Fidelity. So my Fidelity accounts were, I'm selling these puts, and uh, but I'm just graphically displaying, um, you know, how much premium and all that you can get um, selling puts on these four stocks. Um, I'm doing this on Robinhood just to show you. So if we go down here to the 116 uh, price that it's at right now. I chose, let's drop down here. I chose the 109 strike price. And right now that's paying about um, $2.72. And it's about a 74% chance of profit. So, you know, right now that's kind of where I'm picking. Now, what I try to do, I want about for every four weeks, I want generally, I try for at least 2%. Because if I take 2% times 12, that's about 24% a year. So if I can hit that, I'm really happy. Okay, so the next one is uh, Micron Technology. Now this one was trading again back in June, you know, at about 153. Um, you know, right now it's currently at about 91. So this is one um, also that I really like uh, for AI. Uh, technology. I think they're going to boom over the next year to two years. So I do like Micron. And if I can pick this up, um, you know, at this kind of a discount and then selling puts, get it even cheaper. You know, I just feel like it's a win-win. I can collect a nice option income while I'm waiting to get this cheaper. So if I hit trade MU options and I click on sell, Put, 
And again, I'm going to go out to the same um, October 18th. And I'm just going to show you, you know, roughly where I'm selling my option. So if we go down here. Um, yeah, it's the 80. So again, you know, want to get twice. So you think about it, um, $80. Um, one option contract is 100 shares. So just always remember that one option contract is 100 shares. So $80 a share, that would be $8,000 in collateral. So 1% of 8,000 is $80. So I would want my premium within four weeks to be around or at least around $160. So this premium's showing uh, $1.68. So again, that meets the criteria. That meets the you know 2% rule. So again, it's you know a strong company in its sector for memory chips, and you know there, there's just going to be a lot of demand going in the future for these uh, kind of chips. So I think that Micron's going to do well. Um, right now, it has dropped. You know, there's some weakness, um, but I do think over time it's going to pick up, and it's just a really nice one that I would be good owning, especially at eighty dollars. So. Um, and you know I can sit here and collect this nice uh, two percent a month on it until I get assigned so that is my second one um, let's go to the third okay my third is kind of a strange one that you guys probably might be scratching your head on but um, I really like uh, elf beauty so um, this thing has pulled back significantly um, you can see a double top here on the chart if you just look at a year. So you're kind of like looking at this double top and then this thing drops down here. So, um, you know, it's at a, I think, honestly, you know, pretty good discount. It could go down even more. So that's why, again, I'm selling a put on this um, to get it a little bit lower. So I'm going to show you where I'm kind of targeting this at. So trade elf options and again we're going to go through the same process to sell a put i'm going to click on sell a put and again this is a company that i would definitely be happy owning if i get assigned the 100 shares for the one contract that i'm selling the put on so if i go here and i'm going to go ahead and click on october 18th is the expiration and I went down to the $100 strike. So I'm saying if this thing drops down to 100 and again, it meets my criteria because at $100, um, I would want at least, um, you know, at $100 strike, that's going to be $10,000 in collateral set aside, 78% um, chance of profit, and it pays out around $2.40 in um, option premium, which would be $240 um, within 30 days. Okay, so my fourth uh, top um, stock pretty much that I'm um, selling puts on is an ETF, and it's a Bitcoin strategy ETF. And it's actually Bitcoin futures, and so that's where you can uh, sell puts. Some of the actual Bitcoin ETFs use this. Um, particular bit of because of the fact um, you can do option strategies with it and you can sell options. I prefer, honestly, instead of using one of those ETFs, I prefer just to sell puts directly on the uh, this Bitcoin ETF myself. And so um, if I click on trade bit of options, and this is kind of a Bitcoin play, um, so it's probably a little riskier. Um, you might say as far as volatility goes, but I'm willing to do this because of the uh, premiums that it pays out. And it's really not a lot right now. It has come down quite a bit uh, from the, where the price was. So it's at about 19. So if I go out to October 18th here and let's drop down, I believe I'm at a strike of 17. So this one is really, um, you know, pretty nice deal right now. So for October 18th, you know, on a $17 strike price, that's $1,700 in collateral. 
you can uh, get about $46. So if you think about it just twice, the 2% rule, that would be a $34. So this one's at 46. So it's, you know, quite a bit over the 2%. Um, so I like that. Uh, you know, again, it's uh, Bitcoin futures, so it's a little more volatile. So it's paying a little higher premium. Um, but I do like, you know, I would like to pick these up at 17 if I can and collect this premium. You know, I do think Bitcoin is going to continue higher. I think the markets are going to go higher. So I think this will ride up with it. And um, so that's why I'm, you know, I'm okay getting assigned um, 100 shares of this at 17 and um, hold it. And this also pays out a dividend. So that's the other kind of like double benefit to this. You can collect a nice dividend on this monthly if you do get assigned. Um, but it's also, you know, if you don't get assigned, you can just collect this income. And it also generates income with my other three. So this is my number four. So that's right now, um, you know, and again, um, these are just, I'm just using sampling one contract. So again, if you buy two, three, four contracts and multiply that premium um, on these, you know, it can add up to, you know, quite a nice um, amount of income for the month. That's the strategy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of update you on what I'm doing. And uh, if you like this video and these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have over 11,000 subscribers now, so let's keep that climbing, guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button and follow us and um, you know for future videos. And make sure to watch all of our videos.